Hello, what's going on, you guys? My name is Polsky Gamer. Today, I am back with my damn ah, I am back with my damn uh, Claire Sanctuary playthrough. God, can I speak like English? Uh, so I got I got a bit to say <laughs> right now. It's a damn hot day. It's close to forty degrees here in Australia. If you are not from Australia, and it is it's positively bonkers. Uh, let me tell you, dude, it's actually crazy, and uh, it's pretty windy. So if you hear this kind of noise throughout the the video where it's like plonk. Uh, there's like wood outside my window and the wind is pushing it and it hits the ground and it makes sound and it's uh, It's just annoying. Anyway, uh, welcome back. It is that time of the month uh, You dirty bastard. What are you thinking? No, we are playing Claire's Sanctuary And if these guys are hurry up and you know stop talking I can begin I got a lot of animals to bring here a lot of dinosaurs a lot of stuff to do What are we gonna do Claire prepare the park for the arrival of the rescued dinosaurs? Thanks, I'll happily do that. I got $7 million, all right. My issue right off the bat is, I don't know, <laughs> like, what my first dinosaur was, so I'm gonna struggle here a bit, trying to figure out what I gotta build exactly, or how big this enclosure's gotta be. So I'm gonna just go for it, dude. I'm just gonna try my best. I'm gonna try and keep it neat, you know what I mean? I don't know, I needed, I got four minutes to, you know, figure stuff out and build something relatively all right that will that will do you know and i'm gonna go with this casual fence because this clean nice fence will do and i i know it's herbivores off the bat it should be it's probably like gallimimus or something so like really easy like herbivores so it shouldn't be like the most difficult thing in the world yeah so i guess in today's video while i'm building i'm gonna talk about the brand new dlc coming out 10th of december we've got Return to Jurassic Park, and this is perfect for the JPOG series that I have planned in my uh, head currently. So I want to do a series where, actually it's quite like Best in Slot, I was even going to do it in the Sanctuary, and then he did it when I was about to do it, and that's mainly why I chose Claire's Sanctuary over doing that at the moment. But this is going to be so good, because that means I can do it in the like original building style as well, like how clean. That went sideways, didn't it? It's gonna be super good. It's gonna be heaps dope. I guarantee you that. So I got a decent size enclosure. I'm gonna clean it up a bit. I also need to put power in and and do that sort of thing. And I'm thinking uh, when I do my JPOG series and I have another series in mind, I'll uh, briefly talk about it in a moment. I'm thinking about doing it best in slot style. So pretty much unedited, just raw gaming. Like, you know, just sitting here chilling, building, talking, and like, kind of like this, but this is edited, but like, not edited. So like, unedited, I guess. I don't know what I'm even saying anymore. I, I don't know, it's just a, it's just a thought. It's a thought I've had for a bit. Uh, because I know people in my Instagram kind of want that. So, I don't know, I'm considering it immensely. I will continue to consider it as well. So there's a few things we'll get to explore during this DLC, such as the, uh, brand new feeders, which is gonna be great. Not really brand new anymore, this DLC's been out for some time. So right now I'm just trying to make, you know, the the enclosure look a bit pleasant. I'm just kind of adding to it, making it look nice and neat. You know what I mean? Uh, I also need to put feeders in. I, 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 gotta, I know it's going to be herbivores off the bat and it should be easy ones to maintain. I know that I'd got the stegosaur pretty early on in like my grabbings of the dinosaurs. So I have to prepare and think for that because it's gonna be hard. I need to, you know, research it and uh, excavate the fossils. Anyway, uh, we got something happening in three seconds. I'll explain more on that in a moment. Gallimimus, easy, yeah, I'll do that. So we got a Gallimimus, Stiggy Mole, is that a Stig, or Stegosaurus? I think the next one's a Stegosaurus, and we got a Para. Uh, with the Stegosaurus, which I'm gonna elaborate now, I'm gonna chuck it way out here with a feeder and some water so I don't have to worry about it until I have stegosaurs to deal with you know what I mean I'm gonna go easy with that I'm just gonna I'm gonna think I'm going to think and honestly it shouldn't be you know a bad idea to be honest and like while I you know get my dinosaurs in here's the Gallimimus uh oh actually new viable gene genome that means we can make them really quick so I only need to keep them over there for like a a second and is he alright? He's absolutely happy. Good. Welcome, my first guest, a Gallimimus. You are a beautiful little boy, aren't you? I really like Gallimimus. They are one of my favorites. 
to be honest. All the all the, any dinosaur that made an appearance in Jurassic Park one is like one of my favorites. There's just no doubt in my mind. So we're gonna chuck uh, you know the basic buildings around here. I kind of want to line them up as well. I'll just do my best at lining up, I guess, and just you know get that shit out of the way. Uh, I need a expedition. I will chuck that over here. I'm gonna put like you know buildings on the inside here, like uh, food buildings, to be honest. Just keep things casual. And I will get like my own hatchery. Uh, yeah, I'm not going about like just a singular hatchery because it's just easy, you know. Wunderbar. That looks great. Let's chuck in this right here and we'll stretch it across we'll try like i said we're gonna try and make this thing look absolutely pretty i do like style in my uh in my you know builds that's relatively straight uh so what we can do immediately is dig teams can tyrannosaurus rex that's unlocked beautiful and it's got 20 percent already discovered what's this over here the gallimimus all right, cool. And research center. What can we research? Only the two new dinosaurs, the Oranosaurus and the Uaflocephalus. Enclosure-wise, we can research this stuff. Building-wise, we have to research everything. That's kind of like a kind of like a little ridiculous. I'm going to immediately invest in a large power station and just plop that in instead because it'll be easier to deal with. And I don't really care about the in-gen database. <laughs> I will actually... What is it? Is it Stegosaurus? It must be. Alright, I'm gonna chuck it... Like, over here. I can't be bothered dealing with its social requirements while I'm, like, getting ready. So I'm just gonna give him a feeder. And give him some water. And he's gonna chill here while I research him. You know? That means I don't have to worry. That's actually pretty smart. I won't lie. Yes, yeah, Stego. So immediately what we're gonna do is gonna, we're gonna build that that thing, that uh, Hammond Creation Lab. And honestly, I th was thought about putting buildings here, but I'm gonna put a Hammond Creation Lab and it's gonna be the hatchery here instead. Cause why the heck not? It's actually not a half bad idea. I don't mind that idea at all. And I'm gonna probably chuck it like that. Uh, what's this? Para, yeah, sure. Yeah, the para. They have social needs as well. <laughs> I didn't think of that. I'm gonna chuck them over with the Stegosaurus. <laughs> I'm such an asshole. Uh, they better be right out here. Now immediately I'm gonna go research Stegosaur and the Parasaur and hope for the best. So come on. You gotta wait until I get the research. This might take a hot minute. I shouldn't have grabbed uh, social dinosaurs. And I need to be quick because if the dinosaurs die, then I fail my life. This is game over. So that would suck, wouldn't it? In here, I'm gonna chuck the ACU center, if that will fit. No, it will not. So what? Ah, shit, I didn't see that. What do we need? Brachiosaurus, tricer, oh, good. I was freaking my shit for a second, not gonna lie. We're gonna get those carnivores soon, so it's gonna be a bit rough. What are you doing out here, Gally? I literally wanted to put this where you're standing move. Oh, piece of tart. Uh, I just cancelled it for a minute. Are you kidding? I did not mean to do that. Ah! I legitimately did not mean to cancel that. That just popped out of nowhere and I was clicking the stupid O anyway. I hate this damn game sometimes. Yes, Brachiosaurus. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Yeah, I need a separate enclosure for the Stegos and the Paras because Brachiosaurus doesn't like big population. Whereas these two do, obviously. And I think they'll be good together. Uh, Triceratops. Chuck that in here. Now, let's get their enclosure ready. So, I'm not unprepared. And there's a stupid little damn tree there. Now, relatively large amount of space would be good. I remember when I did my first playthrough of Clare's Sanctuary, I did, like, the smallest park ever. It was really smaller than this, and it worked, and I got five stars. It was actually the cleanest like design as well like i'd never do like proper clean designs in this game you know uh we should probably check if the brachiosaurus is happy with that forest i didn't think of that she's not only needs a little that's perfect i'm gonna add little trees to hope for the best because i wanted to put some in and make the joint look 
Good. Bracky, are you happy? She is. Good, man. I'm happy with this. Dude, are these guys all right out here? They're just chilling. <laughs> para, 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 paradise. Singing para, para. I'm the para of dice. This place looks nice at night. This game has a really nice looking night time. Like, I don't know, dude. Not, not to be weird. Why is that uneven? Are you actually serious? How, how is that even possible? I thought I made this shit as straight as damn, bro. Ah, oh, god damn. This game sometimes, for real, for real. I love hearing my stegosaur, stegosaur? <laughs> I love hearing my stegosaur off in the dis, off, what am I speaking, jib? I can hear it off in the distance, that's what I'm trying to say. These guys are just chilling. They are like the most angriest things I've ever seen. But I ain't worried because they're just chilling. Plan is I'm gonna chill in the Paris DNA for a bit and just max out the Stegosaur so I can start producing that while I'm researching the Parasaur and then I'll be able to, you know, do it a bit more efficiently, I reckon. Uh, it makes a bit of sense. I, like a lick of sense, to be honest. Not a, an immense amount of sense. There's only so much sense I can, I can give. So like I was talking about before, I had another video series, Jurassic World and Evolution idea and what it is, is I am an 18 year old who likes to collect dinosaur toys, specifically the Mattel Jurassic World line. Yes, I'm 18 and I love dinosaur toys. Uh, get over it, you know? And what I have here is brilliant. I've got a fat collection of these mofos, right? And my idea is I make a park and the only animals I can put in are the dinosaurs that I have the toy of. I got a bunch, so about 40. Some of them are not in game. And I'm gonna wait until the new DLC comes out because I got Pteranodons and we know Pteranodons are coming. And the idea of this is I can only put as many of the of the, of the the dinosaurs in. So I have say, uh, I have two Allosauruses. I have to put two Allosauruses in and one of them is blue. So I need a bluish skin. The other's gray. I need a grayish skin, which, you know, shouldn't be too hard. Another example, I have one para, okay? And you know, paras are social animals. So what I need to do is I, I, and I don't have uh, all these sandbox settings on. I, I've neglected to mention that. I'm gonna play so I have to, uh, you know, be, do their, oh God, do I speak much English? Probably not. I have to help their needs. I need, so their social requirements stuff, but I can use Dr. Wu's editing stuff. So I can edit their genomes to be less social. And I can use that. That is allowed. Because I have one para, that would be impossible to contain. Thank God I have four Velociraptor toys. That would make it easier too. <laughs> but if you guys have like other ideas for that sort of, uh, that series, let me know. That would be awesome. Thanks. <laughs> okay, to be honest, I think I should start producing these. I'm wasting so much time on these things, you know? I just realized that that was a perfect lineup. And I lined it up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's cool. I like that. We're getting a lot of new par things as well in this uh, DLC. So that will be very cool. I am uh, very excited for that, if you know what I mean. It will be really nice to have. Anyway, I got a bit of time because looking at their life genes and expectancy, they got time and these feeders that will get also help with that. An issue I'm going to have with this is I need to produce four of these bad boys. So I'm going to have to like knock them out for a hot bit while I produce their other versions, you know? Luckily I got the speed to help, but that can only help me so much, it's only 1.0. You know, I ain't that that sweet 4.0. Bruh! I thought that that would have dropped off enough Stegosaur DNA, but it didn't, and so I sent it right to the para. That's gonna just, ah! I'm just wiping the time away, you know? I'm gonna have to just chuck in these, that's gonna do. I gotta start because I'm I'm blowing so much time with these things, dude. So I'm just beginning it. They they got 92% viability. Uh, that's fine. They will last, I reckon. I'll get them out, trank them, pump another two out, pop them in the enclosure with my other boy, start working on the Paris as well. Currently, I am working on the carnivore exhibit. I want to be prepared for you know the first one, so I'm getting it all ready. And I won't, I won't, you know, lose. These bad boys are, are mine. Yeah. I don't know what's coming to them. You know what I mean? I know they're just gonna get absolutely owned by the Polsky G. The gamer. That is. <laughs> what? 
I think I just talk a lot of shit, to be honest. <laughs> oh, you joking? I just sent them off to the Paris. Why didn't I get any Stegosaur DNA? My, my problem right now is that I don't know anymore. I just got really mad. Like, how did you not get any Stegosaur, Stegosaur stuff then? That's ridiculous. All right, pretty, calm down. Uh, yes, that's right. My problem is that the other one's so lonely, in fact, that it's at 0%. So when I put it in with these other boys, it may be going up. But it's got time to go up, so it will probably break out and it's gonna be a struggle, so we'll see what I'll do with it. I'm gonna start producing the next two. I've given up on going to 100%. That was just ridiculous that I didn't get it from that dig. I got only Brachiosaur stuff and that made me mad. So yeah, that's uh, something. How many, how many years have I used up? Six. It's not too bad. I'll start going faster after I do these ones, you know? This is a, taking a long time, this mission, because of what I'm doing. I'm really just taking my time. All right, he is Trank. Once I release these bad boys, I am bringing them over because it's gonna take a hot minute for the, for the, you know, them to, him to come over. Yeah, nice one you did then. Ooh, that was clean DNA, actually. That will cover a bit, holy crap. All right, they're about to be ready. I'm gonna go get this guy on his way. He is gonna take a very hot second. So, we're gonna do that. We're gonna pump these out, trank him, get him over as quick as possible. We're gonna do this now. Get the helicopter tranking. Uh, these bad boys, probably not gonna move them. Their comfort doesn't go down when they're tranked. That's really helpful. And they don't require much, like, area at all, so that... That enclosure should cover that pretty well, I reckon. That bad boy is on his way, dude. He's gonna make it just when these guys do, I reckon. That was clean. Come on, trank it, trank it. Come on, trank my Stego. That's it. Let's go. They're all on their way. We've done that cleanly. Ooh, man, he is a little short of time. He's almost there. So, um, pretty good. Um, that was the right timing. They're all gonna arrive on time. Their comfort won't go down that quick. I'm just worried about this dude straight off the bat, to be honest. He's gonna be a bit of a struggle. They also need food. That might be something they want. I'll chuck in one here. One over here. Now, I need to understand, are you guys happy? Yep, that's good. Alright, cool. And I also need doors into the enclosures. That's why and put one there all right other bad boy is coming in now here he is he is the last one to make them happy and he's like the special one because he's colorful and here he is welcome please build your comfort as quick as possible if you start bashing on any of my buildings i will literally end your suffering it looks like his comfort will be fine ladies and gentlemen thank god man that guy was worrying the heckers out of me hey Ugh. Ah, Jesus, wrong timing. What are you doing, buddy? Hey, come on, don't do it. It's cool, dude. It's freaking cool, man. Ow, shit. Hey, it's cool, right? You cool? Bug off. Go on. Screw off you. Go away. I'm gonna get a capture of that, because that looks cool. Yeah, that's pretty. That is pretty. To be honest, let's just get it started. No, I want to get full DNA. I hate myself. I just... Brah! I just... Ah, I did it again. Why are you only giving Gallimimus? Frickin' hell, I hate the stupid game sometimes. Ah! I love how this is enough, like, grassland for them. They really have low requirements, some of these dinosaurs. Like, this is absolutely animal cruelty. <laughs> There's just no way in hell a parasaur likes that. They love big open plains, dude. Like, you kidding? We got the other one in the progress of tranquilize. We're gonna start moving this bad boy over. We're also going to send the expedition team back to the Tyrannosaurus Rex and Triceratops. We're also going to get this DNA harvested. We're going to sell that, and we're going to do this right. We're going to finish this mission. It's been 55 minutes. I've taken way too long doing this. And you, my buddy, you are to be tranquilized right in the tail. Yeah, that should do it. All right, cool. We're going to move this bad boy over. And the other one ain't too far away, so everything's coming together just nicely. I'm gonna get this thing right up in there so I can beep at it if it gets too angry. And uh, hopefully the comfort should get good. So let's get this damn thing in that damn enclosure and get this shit done. You know what I am saying, gamers? Ah, ah, ah. 
Yeah, that's right, you stupid powerful office. And now his comfort will start increasing. We have this in the bag. So while we do that, we also have to wait another three minutes. Isn't that wonderful? Once his comfort gets back uh, where it needs to be. That's great, I love waiting. So there is three missions on Sanctuary we gotta do. This is one of them. And once I do them, I'll probably do one last episode getting to the five star rating. And that will be the series, I reckon. So that will be, uh, that'll be about it. And yeah, so once this guy, you know, hurry up and get his stupid, stupid, stupid thing above 80, we'll be happy. It's an hour into the recording. Wow, that's an extra long recording. So this video might be a bit extra longer. And I'm not gonna put music to it just to see how it is. Just a new test because I don't think the 10 minute you know, edited music versions are doing so well. And uh, this is really just a different type of editing to see if it works. It's just cutting, that's it. I'm gonna cut all the nonsense out and that'll be the video. And we'll see if you guys like that. Look at him communicate, I love that dude. I love dinosaurs, man, I just love dinosaurs. <laughs> Voila! That's it. That is it for episode one, lads. Next time will be episode two. Uh, we can actually look at that. That's okay. We've unlocked a bunch of new things and we're Gucci. Now we leave it as is. I'll do a save here as well. Guys, if you're excited for episode two, if you like the way I did the editing in this video better than the other editing, please let me know. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I would love to see you guys uh, next time. <laughs> see ya.